Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create this entire look using products that I have never used before. And there were some products in here that I thought I was going to absolutely love that I really didn't. I didn't expect to not like the things that I did not like and then there was a few products here that I'm really excited about now that I've tried them. So, if you'd like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. I've just washed my face. I am not crying. My eyes are just freshly watered. Hopefully, all this beautiful new stuff is going to make me go from nay to hell yay. So I have a bunch of new products here that I've never used before and I'm very excited. So some of these things are a little bit older. Some of them are as new as possible. To prime our face, I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And I have heard amazing things about this. It smells good. It comes with this little spatula. Not gonna lie, I will probably lose this and then I will go and just start using my nail to dig into it, which is not gonna be pretty. It has a little guideline. I'll show you. I'm gonna be a proper YouTuber today. It has a guideline on it, so you scoop the product up to the guideline and that's how much you're meant to use. So let's do that. It tells you to use a really little amount. Oh, actually, that might go, that might go the distance. Wow. So Tatcha is primarily a skincare brand, so it looks like they're going down the makeup route. Wow, okay, so I take back my first thoughts. It goes a long way. It does feel silky. Very good name for the product, Tatcha, well done. Wow. So it basically stops your makeup affecting your skincare and it stops your makeup from like getting in your pores and stuff like that. That feels lovely. It smells nice and light, no strong perfume or anything. Excuse my hair, this is a little, a little trick tip for you. Today I am going to personal training and whenever I need to wash my hair that day anyway, I put a hair mask in my hair and just brush it out and then put it in a little low bun. But when your makeup's all done and you've got like earrings in, you look pretty complete, you look pretty done, but you've got a hair mask in so you're repairing through the day it's genius. I'm going to leave this in all day, wash my hair and it's going to be stunning. The hair mask I've got in is the Don't Despair Repair Mask from Bridgio. The next product is the new It's Cosmetics CC Cream Plus Illumination. So this is meant to be amazing. I've seen so many people talk about this. This is the shade Medium and I really, really liked the first It Cosmetics CC Cream. I thought it was brilliant. It's an SPF 50. The only thing I would say is it has some flashback, but for the day-to-day -day normal person, you don't need to be worrying about flash photography all the time, so this could be your new fave bait. Let's try it. Two pumps on the back of my hand. This is the shade medium. I've not tried it yet. I don't know if it's gonna be okay. It should be though. And I'm gonna actually use the Heavenly Lux All Over Complexion Perfection Brush. This is the number seven brush from It Cosmetics. This is what they recommend you use it with. Smells just the same as the first one. I can't remember how I used to apply my CC cream. I do not feel like this has given me very good coverage. Not sure about this actually. I thought I was going to love it. Maybe if it was a bit darker, maybe if I had a darker shade it would be okay. I really loved the first one and I like being illuminated so I don't really understand what is going on. Maybe my eyes are just too puffy right now, too red. I'm just buffing that in. Part of me thinking that the colour might not be too bad. I don't really like the way that that looks right now. Oh, do you know what's weird? I don't like it far away. I don't like it in the viewfinder, but close up, it looks really nice. Yeah, like I've got a break out here. It's not covering at all. Let's go in with the concealers. So I have here the KKW Beauty concealers. I've got concealer number nine for highlighting and concealer number 14 for contouring. I also have the loose under eye powder for baking, which I don't really do. So we're going to try it today and see how we get on. And we've got the pressed powder, which a lot of people are saying that they're not happy with the size of this for the money, but we will see how it performs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight. Just my usual, my usual spots. It's got a nice finish and it has added a little bit of coverage in my middle areas. I'm just going to blend that out underneath my eyes. That's added the coverage I needed underneath my eyes, which is better. I'm wondering about this CC cream. I just didn't like the look of it at first, but everyone told me that I was going to love it. So I wonder if it's maybe gone on top of the primer weird or something. With that concealer, it's looking a bit better. Do you know what I've just realised? This is my first ever KKW product. It definitely is not matte. It needs... 
I was wanting to use that on my eyes as a primer because that's what I usually do with my concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and try that. Because I always use whatever concealer that I have at that moment as an eyeshadow primer. Okay, that looks a bit better. The foundation or the CC cream, if you want to call it that, looks a bit better. But it's not covering my blemishes at all. In fact, it's making them look a wee bit worse. <laughs> If my skin was really, really good, maybe it would be nice. Aha, this is what I was looking for. I have the KKW brush. Let's try this powder. Let's try baking. This is the bake powder and this is the shade number three. There's only three colors in this. So this is the middle one. And again, people seem to get a little bit pissed off with how much product was in there. I don't know, man. I've got a Laura Mercier under eye powder that I think is probably the same price that's the same size. So I just wet my Real Techniques brush, uh, sponge. Whoa. I can't remember the last time I did this. Is that how you do it? Do you go right out? I've never done it with like a banana powder before. Do I look like Kim K yet? Or I do not know if I'm doing this right. My top lip's gone orange. Weird. I've got like a ring of darker around the powder. Whew. We're persisting. I'm going to go in with the shade number 14, which is darker, and I'm just going to contour a wee bit. Let's start small. I wonder if I'm the only person that this has happened to. You do not need that much product anyway. I like the finish of the concealer a lot. I'm going to move on to a bigger brush, like a foundation brush. That looks better. Aha, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the foundation the CC cream and just tidy up underneath his contour. Jesus Christ. I like to think that I'm quite good at patching things up as well. Like if something hasn't really worked, then I can just fix it somehow. I can't take myself seriously. Like, uh, I'm gonna dust this away, I think. That's what you're meant to do. Oh. You can see where it stopped. Maybe I've done it wrong. Maybe you're meant to powder your whole face and then do it. Let's try the powder. So I'm going to use this brightening powder in the shade number three also. Oh, and I forgot to set my eyelids and it's all creased right. Let's do that first. I think I honestly won't know if I like this or not until I'm finished. I definitely don't like the baking powder. I just don't bake. I don't bake underneath my eyes anymore. I like using a nice little amount of powder to set because it keeps it nice and fresh. The concealer I used to contour looks nice. I just used the tiniest of the amount to bronze my face up. Right, let's just put that to the side. Concealer, I'm definitely going to try again because I like the finish of it. But the powders, the two powders, I think I could leave. I think I could just leave them. Foundation, I still don't know. I really hope this gets better for you. I've spent 20 minutes trying to do this already. I hope Jack manages to cut it down. <laughs> let's go in with our bronzer. That's what I would do next anyway. I have here the new bronzer. This is the shade Tan and it's from LC Cosmetics. And I really like LC Cosmetics. Actually, I've only got a sponge and a candle from them, but I know the owner, Lilith, is an angel and our products are really good. She made, she's basically well known for making this beautiful foundation. It was really successful and it's, and she sold out and she wasn't expecting it. So she had to take it off the market to find a better supplier that would make it quick enough basically. So let's try our new bronzers. Oh, I can tell straight away when I like a bronzer. And I know that you can get Elsie Cosmetics on Beauty Bay now, which is brilliant. Cause it was really difficult to get for us over here for a while. Mm. I think we can save this, you know. I think that bronzer's really nice. This area of my face is a flipping mess. I feel like going in with my other foundation. I don't know if that's going to mess it up more. That foundation is just not good enough coverage for me. And the old one was really good coverage. I'm really confused. So I'm going to take a tiny pump, like a third of a pump of my YSL All Hours, which is my fave. And I'm just going to try and fix this because even the texture looks horrific. Okay, I feel like we're really redeeming ourselves. The next new product I've got is the brand new Gold Rush Blush from Benefit. It is stunning. Wait till I show you. Look at that. It's like a beautiful blusher. My first thought was how pigmented is this going to be because it looks super gold. But I think as soon as you start using it, the gold disappears and then it's just like a nice blush. It smells like a perfume I used to wear. Okay. 
highlighter is definitely going to save this because it's going to fix this transition because I can still see where the baking powder stopped and the rest of my face starts. So the highlight I'm going to use is from Doll Beauty. This is the Doll Light in the shade Shine Bright. I don't think I've used this on YouTube before. I had one, it smashed. I think that they're quite delicate powders because both of mine smashed in the space of about two weeks. So you have to be really careful, even put like a cotton pad in there. And if we manage to get this to stick a wee bit higher up, then it will stop my face looking so dry. Baking underneath my eyes makes me look quite dry now. I think I'm getting older, guys. That's so much wrong. It's so strange, because that foundation seems to set a little bit, and it's not as dewy as it was before. Highlight our nose and our cupid's bow, and we'll have a wee look at the base together. We'll regroup. At this stage, I don't hate my skin. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty much like normal. I am going to shoot off camera and quickly do my eyebrows. I have no new products for them. I basically use my Cabrow and then my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit and that's it. I've done the, my brows with these products in the last couple of videos so you can refer to them if you want to know how but I will be back in two minutes. So for eyes, I have a new stack from Milk Cosmetics. This is the Baby Girl stack. It is 100% flawless and beautiful. Really, really nice tones for spring. It's creeping up there on the grungy side, so I really, really love it. I really love this bright orange. I have touched it. I used it for one look, but I can't even remember it, so it is the first impression, okay? The first thing I will say is that there is no transition shade. I don't feel like there's a transition shade. When I went to use it, it seemed like all the colours were super pigmented, which is great, but they were all quite dark and bright. So I needed to go in it with something else. So I'm gonna actually use my bronzer. So I'm gonna zoom you in. And let's do these eyeballs. So I'm gonna do bronzer first in the crease. Because the concealer keeps on creasing, even though I've powdered it three times, it makes me feel like it's a really creamy concealer. I'm still not mad at it. I still quite like it. I think I want to use it again in my own routine, like with my usual foundation and powder and stuff. And I'm actually going to just bring a tiny bit of this underneath my eye because my eye just looks a wee bit crepey. And I don't like crepes, I'm more of a savoury person. No, don't tell me about savoury crepe, I hate them too. Right, let's start with this colour here. This is called Come Over. In my crease, we're going to do a nice big blown out bright smoke. Woohoo! See what I mean? The pigment is crazy for these. Circular motions, we're nice and high on the crease, I like a big smoky eye, I like it nice and buffed out. I'm using the side of the brush to kind of wing it out a little bit. I'm just using my big fluffy smith brush and then when I get to the outside I kind of bring the brush on its side. Not scared to get nice and high at the brow, I really like that look personally. For anyone considering getting a melt stack, I very much recommend them, I think that they are some of the most beautiful eyeshadows I've ever tried. I love the Rust Stack, it's my ultimate favourite. This one's really gorgeous, I don't know whether I prefer this one or Dark Matter, but this one, if you don't have any eyeshadows this colour, would be a great one. The Rust Stack is your kind of classic warm browns. Okay, let's drag this underneath our eye. I'm going to change, this is actually the darkest shade in the palette, which isn't that dark, and it's called Dust Yourself Off. I'm going to quickly switch back to the Shine Bright highlighter just to highlight the inner corner. And we're just using the big brush to buff that right out underneath. I don't really want to use another palette, so I'm going to stick with this. And maybe we can just keep it like this. Like I used to do looks like this all the time, and I really liked it. A basic big smoke with a big lash. Let me just pack this darker colour onto the outer corner. I'm going to put a little bit of this colour, which is called Baby Girl, on with my finger. Whoa! Just in the middle, and it's just a really gorgeous gold iridescent shadow with a pink shift. Or a pink shadow with a gold shift. I'm just going to pop that on with my fingers. I'm just going to use my Mykonos lashes from Lily Lashes. There are no new lashes out there that are in my possession slash tickle my fancy. While we're waiting for our lashes to dry, I'm going to use the YSL Volume Effect Faux Lash and this is called the Curler. This is the brand new mascara and it's got a really freaky deaky wand. So if I show you, it's almost like 
all the product is deposited like this. So you use it like that and then you turn it on its side and you just separate your lashes. That's how it was described to use to me. So let's just try this bad boy. It really hugs the eyeball. That's pretty. It's a nice mascara. It's really clean looking. You, uh, you like there's no clumps at all. If you're like an everyday mascara wearer, you will really like that because it looks really nice and clean and separated. Ah, do you see what I mean? I've got other mascaras that are my favourite, like the iconic Boom Lash Mascara, but sometimes I have to take that off and start again because it goes too clumpy. Keep her. So, so far, the things I like, Tatcha Primer, the Elsie Bronzer, beautiful, very excited about this in my usual routine, and mascara, and the eyeshadow palette. This blusher is nice, but it's pretty pale on me. You can't really see it. Okay, well, lashes. Oh, yes. I actually did like that look with just that mascara though. Question for you guys, do you wear lashes every day? And if you do, are they the same size as the ones I wear? Or do you prefer a full eyeshadow look like this with just mascara? That is my question to you today. I need to do my little freckle. I'm still hunting for a good product for that. I didn't like the one I got from Cult Beauty, the wee freckle pen. I think it's rubbish. So I'm back to using my crap one. Which does the job, but I just don't like it. I'm gonna zoom you out and we'll do our lips. What do you think? I, I just don't know. I don't know. I wonder if I'll look in the camera and be like, yeah, I love that. I think that looks amazing. I think that maybe the struggle of the skin stuff wasn't worth it. I really like that eyes. I like the eyes a lot. For lips, I have a new nude. This is the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Stealth. But everyone I know and that I've seen uses this over their whole lip. And Buxom are really well known for plumping stuff. So let's just try it. I'm going to use it all over. Ah, that's a lot lighter than I thought, but we'll just go with it. Mmm, that's nice. It's a little bit lighter, because I, you know, I always do like a dark lip liner and a light lip. And I can't really overdraw with this colour, so it looks like we're doing a natural lip today. I like that it's um, a pencil, like a big chunky pencil. I'm going to put a little bit of this lip mask on. This is the Volupte. I cannot speak French. Night Rehab Lip Mask, and this is YSL, and I have only been using it since I went to Tokyo, so technically it's like a first impression. But I didn't know it was a lip mask, and I've just been using it as a kind of lip balm slash nudie lip balm gloss when I'm just wearing liner. So let's try this on top. Mmm. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells like watermelon. I went to pat it in and it pretty much got patted away. Do over. What can we use instead? No one's coming out with nude lipsticks anymore. It's, it's the worst. Maybe I've got one that I've just not used yet. But hey. Ages ago, I got these melt lipsticks. The nude ones. Yes! Woohoo! This is the shade Voyeur. And it's a matte lipstick. And it's almost like a greeny browny nude. I'm really sauce, so guys. I don't have another lip liner. I'm going to use Liar Lip Liner by Urban Decay just to define this a bit more. That's a bit better. Okay, I'm done. Right, let me put my hoopy rings in. Okay, okay, I feel a bit better. <laughs> I mean. It's okay. So you guys, that is the finished look. I hope you liked it, if you made it this far. I really rarely struggle. I like everything, I think. I'm not a pure judgy makeup wearer. I usually get on with things absolutely fine. Don't get me wrong, there's some absolute belters in here. Really, really like the primer, the eyeshadow stack, the bronzer, the highlighter, the mascara. I really like this lipstick colour as well, but I feel like I need a different lip liner with it. The concealer, I am going to try again with my usual routine, because I don't think it was very fair that I was using it and then doing all this baking and powder and shit when I don't usually do that. So I'm going to try it again and I'll let you know how I get on. But other than that, I hope you learned something. I have not to do these videos because they stress me out. And I will see you in the next one. Mm.